What up wrestling world, it's your boy Heel Steven, I am back with a new video, and in this video what I'm going to do is give you guys my predictions for Ring of Honor's Final Battle 2014. As you all know, I normally don't do prediction videos. I've explained why on previous videos why I don't. I feel like everyone does almost the same thing. There is no originality with these prediction videos. You have someone on the camera or someone on voice over videos telling you who they feel will win a match or lose a match. But being that next Sunday, I will be attending this pay-per-view show in New York City, I decided to make an exception and give my predictions for this pay-per-view. Yes, I will be attending Final Battle 2014 with Non-Legit Wrestling and my good friend DJ Eric. We did the same thing last year. Even though last year there was some bullshit we had to go through, as you all know, last year if you had went to this event, there was a snowstorm and it was hard time to get to New York with transportation and all that and again overall too much bullshit to get to new york but overall we had a fun time and overall again we are expecting to have another great time at this event so here we go with the predictions you have a mentor versus student roderick strong versus adam page i think this could be a very good way to open the show roderick strong being a triple crown champion adam page being you know the young guy and ring of honor being part of the decade if you will in all honesty if adam page gets a win over roderick strong it'll be big for him so i'm gonna go with an upset i do see adam page finding a way to win most likely, yes, BJ Whitmer, Jimmy Jacobs will find a way to help Adam Page. But then again, who to say Roddy gets to win? But overall, I'm going with Adam Page here. The grudge match, R.D. Evans with Veda Scott versus Moose with Stockley Hathaway. To my understanding, all these guys and women being Veda Scott... They were all part of a faction, you know, the undefeated streak, whatever, the new streak. And R.D. Evans was undefeated, and apparently his streak ended at one of the house shows. And Moose and Stockley Hathaway, back then known as Ramon, turned on Beta Scott and R.D. Evans, and now they're going at it. More than likely, yes, I'll go with R.D. Evans. They'll probably find a way to have him win. Then you have Unbreakable Michael Elgin versus the Sicilian Psychopath in Tommaso Ciampa. This could be a very good match this match could steal the show without a shadow of a doubt in my opinion i remember they had a match back in best in the world 2013 and they literally stole the show so i predict that this match could possibly steal the show along with other matches on this card that i haven't even talked about yet but if i'm gonna go with the winner here I'm going to go with Ciampa, even though I personally feel Tommaso Ciampa should be competing for the world title in the main event against Jay Briscoe. But that's around the point. Six-man taxi match, the Young Bucks and ACH versus the Addiction, formerly known as the Bad Influence in TNA, Christopher Daniels, Frankie Kazarian, along with Cedric Alexander. This could be another good match, possibly another show stealer because of the Young Bucks and the Addiction. I expect a lot of super kicks, a lot of double team action, a lot of high flying maneuvers, a lot of good spots, mark out moments. I guarantee you there'll be a holy shit champ by the crowd and more super kicks. But if I'm going to go with the winner here, I'm going to go with the Young Bucks and ACH. Ring of Honor TV title match, Jay Lethal defending his title against Reborn, Matt Seidel, the formerly known as Evan Bourne. This could be another good match. A lot of good spots, a lot of good near falls, a lot of good high-flying action here. I could possibly see Matt Seidel coming out as a new TV champion, but because Jay Lethal and I are from the same hometown, all right, I got to, you know, rep the 908 jersey, so I'm going with Jay Lethal here, all right? Then you have the co-main event, Red Dragon defending the tag team titles against New Japan's The Time Split. Alex Shelley and Kushida. This could possibly also steal the show because of Red Dragon. You have the time splitters in Kushida and Alex Shelley. Good spots here. Good near falls. A lot of things can happen in this match. If I'm going to go with the winner here, I'm going to go with Red Dragon. The main event of the evening, a fight without honor for the Ring of Honor World Championship. Jay Briscoe defending his title against the survival of the fittest. 2014 winner Adam Cole. Okay, this match I've seen numerous times. Do I agree this should have main evented? No. In my opinion, it should have been Jay Briscoe and Tommaso Ciampa, or if not, you know what, have Briscoe, Ciampa, Elgin, or three-way, something like that. That should have been the main event, but overall, this could be another good match, even though I personally felt their final match should have been a Super Card of Honor 8 in that ladder war, but again, what else could they do here? You know what I mean? But if I'm going to go with the winner, I'm going to go with Jay Briscoe. I don't see them giving the belt back to Adam Cole. 
in all honesty, but I could be wrong here. Maybe the kingdom can come out and interfere and Cole's a new champ. But overall, I see Jay Briscoe retaining the title. This could be a good show. I do hope so. The only knock I'll give it is the fact that it's on a Sunday. When you think of Ring of Honor having eye pay per views and pay per views, they normally do them on Saturdays or Fridays, not on Sundays. Also, being the fact that, hey, you know, the next day I got school, I got work, and I got to, you know, leave Terminal 5 to get to Penn Station, New York in a hurry. You know what I'm saying? But I'll be doing a day in life vlog. If you'll be at the show attending this event, let me know down below in the comment section of this video, or if not, on Twitter, at Heel Steven. And there you go. You want to meet up with me and not only Jit Wrestling and DJ Eric and build a conversation at this event? Let me know. So I'm going to say here, guys, let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section with your predictions on who's going to win, who's going to lose. If you'll be at this show, you can follow me on Twitter, at Heel Steven. Leave this video a like. And as always, hate, commenters subscribe. I'm Heel Steven, and I'll catch you later in the next video. I am out. Peace.